Welcome here at Huawei Connect in Shanghai. And I'm here with Edwin Diende, you're the Chief Digital Officer at Huawei. Correct. For digital transformation. Yes. And if we talk about digital transformation and what big transformations we see is in smart and intelligent cities. Yes. Can you explain how AI and IoT plays a role within this transformation? Yes, I certainly can. Uh, maybe you recall from last year when we had a similar conversation like this that was uh, tapping into where Activate Intelligence comes in. Mm -hmm. In the past year, we've been uh, stepping to the plate and adding more uh, innovation power to our developments and to our research uh, teams. That means that the platform that we launched last year where activation of intelligence plays a predominant role, now taps into the next level of that, which is to advance that intelligence. What it means is that we can use and reuse use cases from anywhere in the world and use them as templates or as examples within this same digital platform. And as a result, just like last year, this digital platform functions as an overlay system to bridge different information silos. Mm -hmm. This already comes with complexity. So the component of artificial intelligence allows us that systems and services and these building blocks that maybe by nature don't speak to each other because they're from two different departments or two different information silos, can be taught a machine language, mm -hmm. share information by themselves. So the thing of pre-staging, pre-configuration, um, pre-testing perhaps has become obsolete. That's one example. Okay, and if you look to cities, I think become, they become more digital, mm -hmm. which also means that they start competing to each other. How can they compete within this new environment? Oh, that, that, that's a very good question. I think this, this relates to the element of a, a digital twin of physical operations, mm -hmm. a digital twin of an economy versus a physical mm -hmm. economy, and therefore investments in physical economies or the digital version of that economy. Imagine a city with an identity physically, maybe like Amsterdam or Barcelona or exotic kind of cities. That digital version would allow such a city to create an identity that is faster and easier to distribute perhaps. Mm -hmm. But maybe if there is a small component that you would say, if we would add this to our identity or part of our identity is also this, but it is under lighted, mm -hmm. then in the world of digital, that is very easy to uptake, to upscale, to enhance perhaps, mm -hmm. to distribute. For example, to attract uh, foreign investors perhaps, that maybe in the physical world two or three years ago had no interest in whatever, physically speaking, but since you have a digital identity, digitally speaking, you would be able to attract foreign investors at a moment in time suitable to where it makes sense to actually link them to it. Same goes for tourists and so on and so forth. Yeah, and if you talk about intelligence, the core and the oil for it is data. And if you start collecting data from all different kinds of touch points, means if, uh, yeah, the internet of things basically. Yes. How does this work? How should uh, uh, cities start collecting the data from all these different touch points? I think from a collection point of view, they're already pretty much on the right track. There are many data sets available. This gets enhanced, improved. Um, the data lakes are getting bigger, so to speak, um, and wider. Uh, I wouldn't say data is the oil, because that's very dirty and it needs to be refined <laughs> first before it can be used. Uh, I actually have a blog post that says data is more like water. It's the source of life, if you like. But that's, a side, that's on a side note. Uh, data. Uh, 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 w w what's the word I'm looking for? The interpretation mm -hmm. of data, the ability to the have to, to have insights from that data. So not so much from unstructured to structured, and then create or have an in, uh, have information available, mm -hmm. but really data interpretation that usually comes to a human brain. There's a lot of insights. For example, this screen behind us is showing us dashboards mm -hmm. of the insight of city operations, but it has a human eye, or it needs a human eye and a brain to interpret that data. Advanced intelligence, I think, allows us to automate that process and to have an environment where the interpretation of that data is already being done, so the human brain is less burdened in this particular case. And that would probably create a cleaner version of, uh, of data is oil, so to speak. Edwin, thanks, thanks again Pleasure. for sharing all your insights, probably thank next year. And thank you for watching here from Huawei Connect in Shanghai. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.